Hi guys, I'm Phil Sturpey. In this video, I'm going to show you how the AWS SDK is able to retrieve credentials for an IAM role from within an EC2 instance. This demo was recorded live during the delivery of a recent Developing on AWS course. And this is a bit where, I get rid of that, don't want that anymore. But this is me, I'm about to launch a machine. Okay, launch a machine. Pick a role, any role. So I've got three roles. These aren't groups of users, these are roles. I've got a role called bootstrap role, I've got a role called dev role. This is just a muck about environment. So I've got, okay, let's take a look for it. Look at dev role, let's go and find dev role. So if I go to IM, where I've got my users, I've got some users there, I've got Frank, haven't I, and George and Phil. I've got groups like developers. But I've also got roles. Now, roles don't have users in them, but they have permissions. Look at dev role. Dev role, what permissions has it got? Basically, anything. Don't try this at home. So I've got a role that grants full access, not to any user in the role. Users don't go in roles. But if I were to launch an instance, oops, excuse me. Launch an instance, and bear in mind I could do this programmatically. Select a machine, go for a micro, go to next, pick a role, pick dev role. Now I didn't get involved in any credentials, but as that instance launches up, as that EC2 instance launches, EC2 associates with that role, excuse uh, me, with this, this instance, that role. Now that role, the I am thing has permissions associated. So what this means is any code running inside an EC2 instance can just start talking to um, S3, can start talking to DynamoDB, don't mention any credentials at all, and it'll work. Now there's a missing piece of this jigsaw, which I'll get to in a second, but it'll just work. So the code you saw in the slides this morning, the code you saw in the slides this afternoon, where it just says, oh, spin up the S3 client, and not mention any credentials, and it just works. It's somehow to do with this role. Okay? But it still involves access keys and secret keys. So let me show you this. I did, in readiness, spin up a machine earlier. Because the thing with Windows servers, you spin one up, you've got to wait half an hour for the password. So in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier. So if I just, do they still say that on Blue Peter? It's been such a long time. Here's one I made earlier, they must. I've never seen it. You've never seen Blue Peter? No. Uh, but because I never had the BBC or anything in Ireland. Right. I was on Blue Peter. Oh. I was on Blue Peter. You're on Blue Peter? Child, yeah. Got a badge and everything. Uh, have you still got your badge? I think my mum's got it. Right. Look at this, I've got a role. Now, we can't say, well, what are the credentials for the role? You don't have credentials for the role. Yes, you do. Roles have access keys and secret keys. But you don't get to see them, ever. And they change. They rotate automatically. Here's the thing. I've got an instance. I launched it earlier. It's my running instance. That one. I launched it with that role. Okay? So I launched an instance about half an hour ago and said use that role. Super. Here's that instance, a remote desktop. It's a Windows machine, the principle is exactly the same for um, Linux machine. Okay? Now here's the thing. Inside there you could try this. Can you see that? So what does it say? 169254, 169254, latest metadata. I'll just do that. Oops, curl this in a Linux machine. I'll just stick it in a browser because that's going to work for me. Start for browser, maybe make this window a bit larger. Okay, just pop that in there. Latest metadata. There you go. Now what it says is what that. And that URL is exactly the same on every single instance. That IP address is the same every single instance. 169.254.169.254. What they're saying is, this is the kind of information I could give you if you ask me. 
If you want, I'll tell you what the AMI ID is. If you want, I'll tell you what the uh, IP is. I'll tell you what the instance ID is. Okay. So you could, if you're interested, get the uh, the instance ID. Let's try that. So I could try instance ID. Done. Why, maybe your app registers itself for the load balancer. I don't know. Okay. Well, how about if you tried this? What if you said, say what metadata? What are my security credentials? It'll say, I'll tell you what, you're in DevRel. Now, you wouldn't sit there with a browser. But if I could do this sitting in a browser, the SDK that your code uses could nip out and do that before it starts. So the first thing the app does when it fires off, jumps out there and says, uh, am I in a role? He says, yeah, okay. Tell you what then, tell me about that role. Tell me about dev role. I say, of course. Oops, excuse me. I say, of course. This is all you need to know about that dev role. Got an access key. It's got a secret key. Nice one, thank you very much. I've got all I need. So, imagine your code written using an SDK, because you're not going to write code making a raw HTTP requests, which you could do. You use the SDK, that's why you're on the course. You're going to use the SDK, you're going to do things like spin up the Amazon S3 client brackets. What's it going to do? Because you didn't pass it credentials. It's going to do this. It's going to jump out, talk to EC2, say, tell you what, EC2. Um, Am I in a role? And if so, what are the credentials? And it will harvest those two and then pass them straight back to S3 or DynamoDB, get authenticated, and then either work or not. Okay? Make sense? This is how you do it. So it still uses access keys and secret keys, but not those that you would use. So you don't create a user account to be used by your app. You create a role to be used by software running in EC2 instances. This is assuming that the apps that you write are going to run in EC2 instances. If the apps that you write are going to run on your machine in the corner back at the BBC, no, you're going to have to pass them credentials. But they're less exposed because they're sitting on your machine. Make sense? Now, the key is the keys for dev role get rotated automatically, periodically. That's okay, because the SDK is aware of this. So the SDK periodically communicates with the metadata service. It's the IMDS. Identity Metadata Service. And it just calls out and said, what are the access key and secret key for my current role now? And it uses them. So from a management point of view, it's a doddle. You're not passing access keys and secret keys in. You're not even trying to read this data and parse it. The SDK is doing it automatically. All you've got to do is get your head around the idea that if you want code running inside the cloud to do things inside the cloud, you use roles. That's your takeaway for today. Make sense? There you have it. In this video, I've shown you how the AWS SDK is able to retrieve credentials for an IAM role from within EC2 instances. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to comment on my blog and Facebook page. Perhaps you could suggest more video topics. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my videos as I release them. Bye for now.